decision by the Australian government to close our national borders back in March last year was the right one to make from a public health perspective. Unfortunately though, the impact of that decision on the travel industry has been absolutely devastating. Thousands and thousands of jobs have been lost already and business owners who've spent the past few decades building up their businesses are seeing everything they've built up disappear. Those jobs that remain and the businesses that remain are hanging on by a thread. And that thread is JobKeeper and at the end of March that's due to finish. Now the travel industry is still in crisis. Uh, domestic borders have been opening and closing and there's, there's no certainty. The international borders are still firmly shut. And without JobKeeper, most of the businesses in this industry and most of the jobs will be lost. And that's not something that we can let happen. You know, Australians have a, a great history and a great spirit of standing up for their mates during a crisis. And this is the time that we need to stand up for the Australian travel industry. You see, travelling is part of what makes us Australians, part of what we do, it's part of our culture. But in order for that to happen, for order, in order for us, once borders reopen, to be able to explore the world and, uh, safely and, and come home safely, is we need a strong and vibrant Australian travel industry. The tour operators, the wholesalers and the travel agents and all the other businesses that make up this wonderful industry. Because without it, we're not going to be able to travel and we're certainly not going to be able to travel safely. So whilst we can't travel overseas, if you're traveling domestically, please book through a travel agent, a local tour operator, a wholesaler and support our industry. And to the government, we need two things. Firstly, we need certainty and surety around domestic borders. One coordinated national plan that allows us to deal with hotspots, that stops keeping families apart and allows consumer confidence to return and the industry to, to make a living, at least a part of a living, by selling some domestic travel. We need a roadmap for getting us out of this, uh, for opening international borders. But most importantly, we need some sort of extension to JobKeeper. Whatever we call it and whatever form it's in, the travel industry needs help. We can't all fall off a cliff at the end of March. We can't afford to lose even more jobs, even more skills out of this industry. We need to keep the skills in place so that we're able to rebuild and we can all travel again once this is over. But without that lifeline, this industry will collapse and the jobs, the thousands of jobs in, in the industry will disappear. And none of us want that. So please help us to support the Australian travel industry at this time of need. Thank you very much.